یا یو الدین عام الستادم الدین ملکت ایمان کم و لذین لم یب لغو لم یب لغ الحلم کم صلاح سمرات نو دیز آر اگین یو نو انسٹرکشنس ریگارڈنگ دی پرائیویسی ایٹ دی ہومس او یو بلیو دوز آف یور سلیوس اینڈ آلسو دی چلڈرن ہو ہیو ناٹ ریچ پیورٹی دے آلسو شوڈ سیک پرمیشن to come to you to enter your privacy at three times now three times are as a rule you may say you know the sexual intercourse between the husband and the wife in one of these three times min qabl salat al fajr before the dawn prayer wa hina tad'una siyabakum min az-zahira and when you cast away the, your private your over garments you know outer garments And at the noon, Mamim Baad is Salat al Isha, and after the prayer of night prayer, Isha. Salat so or Atukum. These three times are of privacy for you. Let's all come. Wala alehim junah baadahunna. After these times, you know, there's no blame. The servants and you know the the bondsmen, the slaves and the children, they can come to you. توافون علیکم بعض کم بڑا باس یو کیپ کمنگ ٹو ایچ ادر کزال کا یبین اللہ لکم الحیات و اللہ علیم الحکیم ان دس وے اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ ایکسپلینس اینڈ میکس کلیئر ہز آیات ہز ریولیشن اینڈ اللہ از آل نوئنگ آل وائز وہ ایزا بلغ الطفال من کم الحلم اینڈ وین دی چلڈرن ریچ دی ایج آف پیوبرٹی فل یاستاد نو کم استاد اللہ من قبل then they should also ask permission to enter into that private room where the parents are they should straight off enter that room kama stadana alladhina min qablikum as the command was given to those who were before mentioned kadhalika yubayyinu llahu lakum ayatihi wallahu alimun hakim and in this way allah is making clear to you his revelations and allah is all knowing all wise wal qawaid min an nisa allati This is the case which I thought was discussed at that time. When a woman reaches the stage, she is past the age of marriage, past the age of bearing children. Now these precautions are not absolutely necessary for them. For young women, you know, who can enter to an, into an agreement of marriage, who are able to bear children, their case is different. بل قواعد من النساء اللاتی لا يرجون نکاحا اس فار دی پاسٹ چائلڈ بیئرنگ ویمن ہو ہوپ ناٹ ٹو گیٹ میرڈ فلا جناح علیہن ان یذعن صیابہن دیر از نو بلیم آن دیم اف دے پٹ اف دیر آؤٹر گارمنٹس غیر متبرجات بزینا بٹ دے آلسو شوڈ سی دیٹ دے ڈونٹ یوز دس ایز اے ایکسکیوز ان ڈسپلیئنگ دیر ایڈورنمنٹ وہ ہی استعفنا خیر اللہن And if they don't avail of this concession, it is better for them. Wallahu sameeun alim. And Allah is the all listening and all knowing. Less are al-a'ma harajum. There is no blame on the blind. Wallahu al-a'raj harajum. Nor any blame on the lame. Wallahu al-mariz. Nor there is any blame on the sick. Harajum. There is no blame on them. Wallahu al-anfusikum. And not even on you. Antakulumin buyutikum, that you eat from your own houses, or buyute abayikum, or from the houses of your fathers, or buyute ummahatikum, or the houses of your mothers. Maybe your mother, your father had died, now she has married another person, she is the wife of some other person, but still she is your mother. You shouldn't hesitate when you go there and eat something. Buyute ummahatikum, or buyute ikhwanikum. Or the houses of your brothers, or buyute akhwatikum, houses of your sisters. Among some tribes in India, Rajputs, they don't want to you know, take anything and eat anything from the houses of their daughters and sisters. They think it's a shame. We should not eat anything in their houses, but it is not so in Islam. Buyute akhwatikum, or buyute amamikum, or the houses of your uncles, or buyute ammatikum, or the houses of your aunts. Or the maternal uncles, 
اب وہ تو یہ مجبوریت خا لاتے کم اور دی میٹرنل آنٹس او ما ملکن مفاتح ہوں او صدیق ہوں اور دی ہاؤس از ہوز کیز آر ود یو یو آر دی اتھارٹی تھرو دیئر یو کین گو اینڈ ایٹ او صدیق ہوں اینڈ لاسٹ از یور فرینڈ یو کین گو ٹو دی ہاؤس از فرینڈ اینڈ ایٹ لیس آل ایکم جنا تا کلو جمی نہ ہو اشتا تھا دس نو بلین اپاؤن یو If you eat together, sitting together, or separately, there were no big drawing rooms and no dining rooms. So wherever there was a feast, you know, whenever people came and, you know, a group came and took the meals and went away, then another group came. So it is ashtata. But if conditions permit, you can have a joint feast. فَإِذَا دَخَلْتُمْ بُيُوتًا فَسَلِّمُمْ عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِكُمْ But when you enter the houses, You have to salute the people who are there. Tahiyyatun min indillah. It should be a greeting for one another. A greeting from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is assalamu alaikum. Blessed and good. Tahiyyatun min indillah mubarakatan tayyibatan. Kadhalika yubayyanu Allah lakum ayati. Lakum al ayati la'an lakum ta'khilun. In this way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making clear to you the revelation so that you may understand. Now the last three ayat, they are very important, again regarding Munafiqeen. What happened to them when there was some expedition? The true Mu'mineen were also accompanying Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Munafiqeen had to go also because they wanted, they should be listed as Mu'mineen. They must be acknowledged as Mu'mineen. But then at different times, you know, they kept finding excuses of going back. So this practice of theirs, That is, you know, discussed here. In the man mu'minun, verily the truly believing mu'mins, believers are only those, al-lazina amanu billahi wa rasulihi, who have real faith in Allah and His Messenger. Wa'iza kanu ama'ahu ala amrin jami'in. And when they are with Him on some collective affair, lam yazhabu, they don't go back, hatta yastadinu, before and without, getting the permission. If you have to go, go to the Messenger of Allah, oh Allah, O oh Messenger of Allah, I have to do this work, it's important for me, please permit me to go away. But if without asking his permission, without any permission you go, it means you are munafiq. Inna ladhina yastadinuna ka, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, verily, who want to get your permission, ulaika ladhina yuminuna billahi wa rasulihi, they are the people who believe in Allah and his Messenger. فَإِذَسْتَا ذَنُوكَ لِبَادِ شَعْنِهِمْ So if they want your permission due to some affairs of theirs فَاظَنْ لِمَنْ شِئِتَ مِنْهُمْ So you give permission to whomsoever you wish. Not that because I have asked the permission it is binding on the Amir to give me the permission. No. The matter will rest on the Amir. He knows what is the situation. What is, you know, the complexity of this situation? When each and every person, if somebody or somebody is going back, we get weaker. We need each and every person. So it is the authority of the Amir, whether to permit or not to permit. Fazan, then you can give them the permission. Leman shayta minhum. Only to those whom you think fit to be permitted. Vastaghfir lahumullah. And for them also ask the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? When they have asked the permission and the permission is given by Muhammad and now they are going, what's wrong in it? Still, the Prophet has been asked to ask Allah's forgiveness. Why? They have decided that some of their personal matters is more important than the jihad fi sabilillah. Can there be any personal matter more important than the jihad fees of Allah? If someone places his personal affairs above the jihad, above the tal fees of Allah, no, his values are clear. So you, they have exhibited a weakness of Iman. Well, if your wife is ill, can you give her the help? If she is to die, can you save her if you are there with her? Nothing will happen but for that, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed. So why you go back? 
this is the place for jihad and qital so you do permit them to whomsoever you like deem fit but then ask for forgiveness of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for them inna allah ghafurur rahim verily allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ghafur ar rahim he is the forgiving and the merciful la tajalu dua rasul bainakum ka dua e baazikum baaza don't treat the calling of the messenger among you like the calling of yours for each other when the soul is calling you come this command is something else when a friend say, says to you come to me please something else there is a world of difference between the two he is the commander in chief he is the ruler he is the custodian he is the caliph just as daud was caliph ya daud inna jalna ka khalid fatan fil ard now muhammad was a caliph sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he entered madina till his death he was the caliph then you know the first caliph in his place was abu bakr but who was the caliph who was the ruler at that time muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so you don't think that the call of muhammad is just calling you each other you are if, if you are calling each other qad ya'lam allah allazina yatasallaluna minkum liwaza and allah very well knows those of you who slip away still thilly under some cover they see hal yaratu min ahadin these these words are there in surah at-tauba hal yaratu min ahadin all are attentive to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam listening to him they see that nobody is looking at us at the desk from back so that they are not noticed yatasallaluna minkum liwaza they slip away from there taking some cover fal yahzar allazina yakhafuna yukhalifuna an amrihi so now these people who are working against the matter of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam his mission his scheme his plan you want to fail them fal yahzar allazina yukhalifuna an amrihi an tusibahum fitnatun that some very big trial may fall upon them aw yusibahum adhabun alim or a very painful chastisement should come to them ala inna lillahi ma fi samawati wal ard behold to allah belongs all that is in the heavens and the earth qad ya'lamu ma antum alayh he very well knows what you are and where you stand how much iman you have in your heart he knows it he knows what is your in your heart ma fi sudurikum يعلم ما في السماوات والارض ويعلم ما تسرون وما تعلنون والله عليم بذات الصدور whatever you have in your chest allah knows it fayunabbi yawma yurja'una ilayh and when they will be returned to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fayunabbihum then he will tell them bima amilu what deeds they had committed wallahu bi kulli shay'in alim and allah is knower of everything 